What's up everyone? So today is gonna be our last day here in Laos. Gonna be a lot more of a relaxing video compared to yeah, the last video that we did in Phang Vieng. We've come to a place called 4000 Islands, which is right down the south. It's pretty much on the border with uh, Cambodia, so miles away from where we were previously. And it's called 4000 Islands because it's basically a set of 4000 islands, obviously in the middle of the Mekong River. So I've never been on an island in a river before, never stayed on one anyway. And the island we're on is called Don Con. It's supposed to be more of a laid back island here. We arrived here yesterday and yeah, I can definitely confirm it is extremely laid back here. Just look how beautiful the river looks over here. That is actually another island over there. That's more of the party backpacker island. Here we actually have a cool uh, drawn map. So I don't know if you can see, but this is the island we're on, Don Con. And this right here is Don Det. So that's the one you see in over there, the more popular one. And me and Carol went for the set continental breakfast. So that's 30,000 each. And it looks like you're gonna get uh, bread with cheese, jam. Uh, can get an omelette if you want to, an egg. I don't eat egg, I'm allergic. Uh, fruit salad, orange juice, and tea or coffee. Yep, uh, awesome spot. So we just got two bikes here, uh, 10,000 each. It's probably the best way to get around these islands. They are small islands, but yesterday we did some walking and it took forever. So yeah, today we decided to get the bikes instead. And we're gonna be heading to some falls that are nearby. I think it's one of the main attractions here. And yeah, it's supposed to be good. So the roads here aren't the best condition. Pretty much everything's a dirt road. But you can see how the, the village looks from here. Here you got the school kids. <laughs> and pretty much everything here is like this. These huts all um, authentic. Nothing developed at all. <laughs> at the falls I think it's called leafy waterfalls and the first spot that we've come to is the viewpoint here you can probably already hear how uh, noisy it is so basically there's just loads of rocks there and it looks like there's loads of little different streams and falls everywhere probably get a better view over there of the, the main big one danger So it looks like over here you have a better view of the big fall, the big waterfall. <laughs> Check that out, that looks beautiful, so powerful. Wanna go for a swim? Thank you. 
So basically as you walk around you're gonna find all these other viewpoints So I think this one's even better We were up there before Just Gotta get down here So you can actually do zipline in here So how awesome would that be? Look, the zipline goes right over the fall here Yeah, all the way over the top So that must be awesome I think this is a spot that I have to fly the drone. Oh yeah, you should do that. Yeah. Alright, drone shots come in right now. So I think those were some of the coolest drone shots that I've ever captured before. Such a unique landscape, never been to anywhere that looks anything like this, completely different. So yeah, I'm not sure how it's going to look on the video, but on my phone screen just looked absolutely incredible. <laughs> Yeah, Carol, I think this is already my favorite place in Laos. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the village is very relaxed and the waterfalls are amazing. Yeah, just absolutely everything beautiful here. What an awesome place. All right, gone to the beach. We're going to check the beach out now. Yeah, so they weren't lying. This is an actual, like, proper beach. Proper river beach. <laughs> It's so hot, the, the sand. The sand's boiling, right? Yeah. yeah, good job we got the flip flops roasting. Wow, check this place out. Hidden paradise. <laughs> it's nice and cool. Looks pretty deep deep right yeah here is all right but when you go a bit further it gets really deep really deep <laughs> go for yeah. it You can feel the current. Yeah. Strong. I almost got stuck <laughs> down there. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? Watch out. Alright, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna jump as well.
How good is this place? Very good. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10, yeah. Best of Laos so far. Well, not so far, it's our last day, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the best place in Laos, I think. So we're just crossing that bridge that you saw earlier that links the two islands. So we're going to be heading to Don Det and we're going to be doing a loop around the island. I think it takes about 40 minutes and the owner of our guest house said there's a good sunset spot on this island to the left. So yeah, that's the plan. We're going to do the loop and then try and find the sunset spot. Yeah, this is an awesome bike ride so far. Basically just driving past all these little like uh, local houses, seeing where the locals live. Loads of animals here as well, not just dogs and cats. There's like ducks, uh, buffalo, cows, uh, what else, chickens as well. And it's just not that busy at all. This island looks pretty much the same as uh, the one that we're on. Like not really developed whatsoever. Yet another island behind me over there. That's not the island we're on, that's a different one. And the pathway is uh, just pretty much all like this. Check out this accommodation here with the hammock. So yeah, other cool spots where people can stay. Many places like that around here. And on this side you can just see the, the dried up farms. And here the bumpy road. Speaking of chickens. <laughs> hey, get out of the way. So we ended up going on a mission for ages, trying to find the, the spot that the guy at the guest house told us about, but yeah, we just couldn't find it at all. So we just found this part here. It's not really on the riverside. I think the river's way back there, but it's the best we can do. I think it's the bar of a backpacker's hostel or something. Look who's joined us for the, the sunset. I swap Carol for something better. Uh -huh. hey. Carol gives me more attention at least. <laughs> at least. <laughs> he doesn't like you.
Who needs Google Maps when you have the dog? Dog Maps. Hey. Here we go. Back on track. <laughs> Guys, look at the size of this pig. Sumo wrestler. I think it's huge. Doesn't sound very happy. Biggest pig I've ever seen. Yes. Huge. Alright buddy, we're going. So we ended up coming back to that bridge again that joins the two islands. We didn't know that this seems to be a good sunset spot as well. Quite a few people just sat down on the edge. Yeah, just watching the sunset. It seems pretty nice and calm. So the water is very still here. Besides the noisy boats, it is very peaceful here. guest house now. I thought I might as well show you the guest house quickly, do a quick room tour. I haven't really shown any of the accommodation since we've been here in Laos and I usually do that in other countries, right? So the place that we stay in is called Siaphone Guest House and it's only $11 per night. So um, yeah, really cheap. One of the cheapest places we've stayed um, in the last few months, I think. That doesn't include breakfast, but they do have that restaurant that you saw in the morning and yeah, the prices are pretty good as well. So it is a very simple room, comes with a big comfortable bed though, and it's only a fan room, no AC. And every day they give us two bottles of water, so that's pretty cool. And then through here we have the pretty spacious bathroom. Carol's doing her hair. <laughs> It is a brand new place as well, so yeah, I definitely recommend staying here. The owners seem cool as well. He just printed off our visas for Cambodia, which is where we're going to be heading next. The next videos will be from Cambodia. And it's been a quick one here in Laos compared to my usual travels. I think I only made four videos. We did actually go to Ventian as well, but I wasn't able to make a video there because I was feeling sick. Carol was feeling sick as well, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure half of our trip in, in Lao we both felt sick, so yeah, that's the only reason why there's only four videos, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the places that we visited. I think if you saw the previous videos, um, each video was completely different to the other, so completely different places, different scenery and different things, so yeah, done quite a nice variety of things. I've I've enjoyed it here, and this place is awesome, so I think we've definitely ended the trip on a high. So like I said, the next video is going to be from Cambodia. Should have a few videos coming up from there. So yeah, stay tuned for that if you want to. Drop a like on this video to help support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. And we'll see you in the next one.